And here we are, there's a rally course. Alright, yeah, I'll be English and I'll get a lot of money for driving a car real well and like making a video game. Yeah, that's my name, Paul McCray. I was really upset I couldn't get a Geo Metro and go all Rice Boy on it. I thought that would have been real cool, like put a big sticker on the front that's like, you know, IROC Z Geo Sport Team. Purple IROC Z Camaro, that would have been a pretty sweet ride. With like a little leopard skin going on there and like Playboy Bunny thing hanging off the mirror. Anyway. And, you know, of course, the major flaw with all these driving games is, you know, you can't get an El Camino, trick it out, and call yourself a pimp. It just doesn't work. That's true. But let's let's check out this game here. There's a... Before each rally, you get to go through, change your tires, change your suspension, change your steering, like every, every a lot of game. options, yeah. If you go through a race and you bang up your car, it, uh, I believe each country has about... There's like eight countries or something, six to eight countries, and... Uh, you know, you go through about uh, six races in each country. There's, I'm, Yeah, there are a ton of courses in this game. And it's huge. It's like 60-some courses. I'm, and It's big. You'll never get bored. And that's a really cool thing about this game is it's really challenging, too. I played for a while. I'm still in the third country just because you know, there's like one or two courses that are real tough. You have to be in the top six to continue the countries. And, and you've got to be you got to be a very precise driver in this game. It's, and you, it's not easy. No, you go through it's about two courses at a time, and it'll tell you beforehand that map <laughs> you saw. Oh, there's that malaria coming back oh today. Oh boy! Uh, if you die, can I have your Dreamcast? No. Um, and you go through each course, like I said, two tracks at a time, and it tells you beforehand what they are, so you can equip your car accordingly. Except sometimes, like here, this is like slushy, wet roads. And you can't fly off the edge of the mountain and crash to a fiery death. <laughs> which is always a big drawback. Yes. But you can smash your taillights, which is cool, because it makes a little headlight smashing sound. Like when you, like, right there, I probably just broke something. Yeah, out. and then you can't flip off. And like, Definitely broke oh. something there. Did that ever be tossed out of the car and be attacked by a mountain lion? The cars themselves don't have a lot of variety. It's not like Gran Turismo, where, you know, yeah. you, an NSX is really going to be a lot different than a Supra. It's not quite like Really? That. Yeah, but, um, you know, this, this, the, the cars, you have a little variety, but not too much. This game's not about the cars. The game's about the tr tracks. Yeah. And about the skills. If you want cars, you got to go play pole position for the Atari. That's where the cars be yeah. at. Yeah, that's where all the good stuff is. There's, there's my car, Agent 0040 Ounce, my shameless comic book plug. Nice. And that was the Mitsubishi Lancer I'm driving there, which is unavailable in this country, unfortunately. You cannot buy the, uh, the Lancer Evolution 4 or whatever the hell they call it. Too good for them damn Americans. I know. Maybe a minivan out there. Take, mm, my, take, yeah. my, you know, take the Voyager out. This is where they shoot the movie Her the uh, television show Hercules, by the way. This is New Zealand. Mm, that's very interesting. I didn't know that. It's, it's amazing to me that I made it this far in life, and I don't know a single useful thing. Dave, did you like this game? I, I, I really like this game. I, it really does take a lot for a driving game to impress me. It needs to do something new, you know, something creative. And this game has all that because by the, the sheer amount of tracks that you have, there's like shortcuts. Uh, there's you know, the graphics are great, good lighting as you can see here. Now I, I you know, I've never met Colin McRae. For all I know, he could be a real jerk. But uh, apparently, it, it, you put his name on a video game, and it turns Sounds. out pretty good. Yeah. So it's uh, Colin he must McCray. be a nice guy. Yeah. Word up, Colin. One thing I was always I'm, I'm a little upset about is you can't power slide into people. Yeah, that's really too bad. That, that's a little upsetting, but aside from that, this is this is not a replacement for Gran Turismo 2, which is the best driving game of all times. However, it is a great addition. If you like driving games, there's nothing stopping you. Buy this at once. And they might be coming out with a Dreamcast version. Is that correct? I, that's possible. I'm I not hope, sure. I hope they do. So, get the game. Um, Even the Dreamcast version will have landmines. Landmines. <laughs>